Hi, my name is Jason Chanko. I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglent Technologies North America, and I'm visiting Salig today to introduce the SDG6000X series of arbitrary waveform generators. The SDG6000 is a departure for Siglent. We're actually increasing our bandwidths. Uh, this is available in output frequencies of 200, 350, and 600 megahertz, or 500 megahertz, sorry. Uh, with an output sample rate of 2.4 giga samples per second. In this case, we've got the SDG 6000, uh, 6052, which is the 500 megahertz two-channel version. So here we've got the two channels. Uh, it is uh, truly a, a fantastic box to work with. We've got a touchscreen capability. We can quickly change between uh, sine, square, ramp, pulse, noise, and two new output features for our uh, instrumentation line, we've got IQ capability as well as PRBS or pseudo-random bit sequence. Uh, IQ is very useful. That's going to take a, a second to initialize. Uh, but the IQ is useful for, the, uh, for digital modulation tests uh, on receivers. Uh, there we go. Uh, so we've got a number of symbol types. Uh, we could set the, the symbols per second. We could set the IQ data to built in or stored. Uh, we can also select the, I wanted to go to IQ stored. Ah, ah, so we've got, here we've got 2 ASK, 4 ASK, 8 ASK, uh, BPSK, and then a number of QAM capabilities. Here we've got all the way up to 256. There is also a software application that allows you to design and build your own demodulate or modulation schemes. Uh, that is called Easy IQ, and that's free software that comes with that particular option. Uh, back to, uh, so the IQ capability, we could do some adjustments. Uh, we also have a number of, ah, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. So um, we could select the IQ data. Um, again, we could set the symbol type or symbol rate uh, and the amplitude as well as controlling the, uh, the filter types on that particular output so you can match your input filter to your output filter on your, uh, on your receiver uh, and your receiver setups. I'm going to go back out into sign and it's just going to reinitialize. So it uses a different set of circuitry to run the sign uh, and the standard outputs and then a different set of circuitry to then do the IQ modulation. So there is a reinitialization. Um, some other capabilities we've got uh, similar to our SDG X series, the 1000X and the 2000X, we also have harmonic capabilities. So we can actually take the harmonics and create, uh, we can add harmonics onto the standard sine wave in order to test the harmonic filtering capability of a, of a particular network that we may be working on. Uh, we can set each of those harmonic parameters. Uh, we can then turn off the harmonics. We also have a number of modulation schemes. Uh, we've got AM, FM, PM, FSK, ASK, uh, sideband AM, uh, PSK. Uh, pulse width modulation is also available when we select the pulse width capability. Uh, so really uh, a powerful box. Uh, this is also capable of doing very high frequency. So up to 500 megahertz, we're still capable of a very high amplitude. So typically as you get higher and higher in frequency, it's more difficult to support uh, that particular output waveform at higher amplitudes. I believe we're up to five volts peak to peak at uh, 500 megahertz on this particular instrument. So uh, quite, a, quite a lot of capability packed into this new box.